six months ago, I upgraded my MacBook Pro from the M1 Pro to the M3 Max. And let me tell you, this upgrade was all about one thing, power. As someone who works with 4K videos, multiple layers, and long editing sessions, I needed a machine that didn't just keep up, but helped me level up. And now, with the M4 versions out and price drops on the M3 lineup, you're probably wondering, does this laptop still hold up? Is it worth buying now? In this video, I'm sharing my six month experience with the M3 Max from performance to design. And yes, we're talking about that space black finish because I have thoughts. And if you're like me and want to keep your Mac running as smoothly as it looks, stick around because I have a secret weapon that helps me do just that. All right, let's dive into why I upgraded to this powerhouse and whether it's still the smart choice for you. Let's start with the obvious. This MacBook Pro design isn't new. Apple introduced this refreshed design back in 2021. So if you've seen or used a MacBook Pro in the last few years, this one will feel very familiar. But familiar doesn't mean bad and far from it. This design has stood the test of time for a reason. From the unibody aluminum chassis to the excellent build quality, it still feels incredibly premium. There's no flex, no creaks, just solid, reliable craftsmanship. And when you pick it up, it just feels substantial, like you're holding a true professional tool. I also have to highlight the port selection, which is one of my favorite things about this MacBook. You've got the SD card slot, which I use all the time for transferring footage from my camera, MagSafe for easy charging, and multiple USB-C ports for everything else. It's a setup that makes my life a lot easier, especially if you're someone who works with a lot of peripherals. Now, let's talk about the display. I opted for the 16-inch model specifically for the extra screen real estate, and it's been a game changer. The 16-inch Liquid Retina XDR panel is simply stunning. The colors are vibrant and the brightness is fantastic, and it's perfect for editing videos or multitasking across multiple windows. As for the notch, it's still not my favorite design choice. While it doesn't get in the way too much, I'd love to see Apple find a way to hide the camera without cutting into the screen. And finally, the color, Space Black. It's new, it's sleek, and it definitely makes this MacBook stand out. That said, Apple calls it Space Black, and to me it feels more like a darker space gray. I wouldn't say it's the bold, true black I was hoping for, but it's still gray. As for fingerprints, they're not a huge issue, but smudges do pop up here and there though they're easy to wipe away. And speaking of keeping things clean, that brings me to today's sponsor, Clean My Mac. While I wipe down the outside of my MacBook to keep it looking fresh, Clean My Mac ensures the inside runs just as smoothly. Clean My Mac is a powerful tool designed to keep your Mac running at peak performance. And their latest version takes it even further with a new Smart Care feature. Smart Care combines cleanup, protection, performance optimization, application management, and my clutter into one seamless process. It's like having a personal assistant for your Mac. One feature I found incredibly useful is my clutter which helps me identify and remove duplicate files, old downloads, and other unnecessary items that tend to pile up over time. If you're like me and work on large video projects, you know how quickly storage space can disappear. My Clutter makes it easy to pinpoint and clear out files that you no longer need, helping you reclaim valuable space in minutes. And it's not just about cleanup. Clean My Mac also checks your system for malware, optimizes your Mac's performance, and even keeps your apps organized, it's a powerful solution for maintaining your Mac's health. Right now, there's a special Black Friday sale from November 29th to December 1st, offering 30% off any Clean My Mac license. It's the perfect time to grab this tool and keep your Mac running as smoothly as the day you bought it. You can find the link in the description below to learn more and take advantage of the deal. Now, when it comes to performance, my MacBook Pro 16-inch is powered by the M3 Max chip with the 14-core CPU and 30-core GPU. This configuration has been an absolute powerhouse for me. Whether I'm editing 4K video projects with multiple layers in DaVinci Resolve, rendering final exports, or even multitasking across apps, 
this laptop has handled it with ease. Smooth timeline playback, fast render speeds, and seamless multitasking are the highlights for me. The fans rarely kick on, and when they do, I would say they're impressively quiet. Plus, thermals have been excellent. Apple Silicon continues to shine, balancing power and efficiency. And then there's the battery life. Apple claims up to 22 hours, but let's be real, when you're editing videos, you're not gonna get anywhere near that. For me, I can get about eight hours of unplugged editing, which is still impressive for a laptop with this much power. Now, with the release of the M4 models, some of you might be wondering if the M3 Max still holds up. The M4 lineup does offer noticeable CPU and GPU improvements and benchmarks, but here's the thing. For my workflow, the M3 Max already delivers everything I need. It's still an incredible option, especially with the price drops now on the M3 lineup. So after six months with the MacBook Pro M3 Max, I can confidently say that this laptop has exceeded my expectations. From demanding 4K video editing to multitasking across apps, it's handled everything I've thrown at it with ease. Now, the design might be familiar, but it's still top tier with a stunning display, a great port selection, and the sleek space black finish, though I do wish the color leaned more towards a true black. And while it's not completely immune to fingerprints, it's easy to keep clean with a quick wipe down. As for the M4 models, they're undoubtedly impressive on paper, but if you don't need the latest and greatest, the M3 Max still holds its ground beautifully. It's reliable, efficient, and now a better value than ever with the recent price drops. So whether you're a creator, a power user, or just someone who needs a high performance laptop, the M3 Max is still a fantastic choice. That's gonna be it for this review on the MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching this video, and if you found the video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech-related content. And let me know down in the comments if you have the M3 Max and how you're liking it, or if it's something you're gonna pick up. And if you're curious about how I keep this Mac running smoothly as it looks, check the description for my favorite optimization tool, Clean My Mac. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.